rush, 167 yards against the fifth ranked rush in the country in a robbery game. What's going through your mind? Uh, this is what I had to do. Uh, like you said, the robbery game is a big game for us. Uh, in big games, your best players have to play well, and I feel like I did that. I feel like Old Line did that, and we came out with a W. What was it like for you in that moment, you know, getting that deep reception catch? You know, kind of, as the ball was in the air, what was really going through your mind? Uh, I knew it was going to be open. Um, I knew when I came up and I started to come out, I saw both of the D-line run pass, and I was like, oh, this is going to be open. <laughs> so I got it, and I was looking for help, and Marquel and uh, Prince Tagle was out there. And I knew they weren't going to run through them, so I just got followed on behind them. And got in the end zone. Coach, my love. Try to, mm-hmm. try to run Play Le'Veon Bell, patient, patient, look at his style. Oh yeah, I, I mean, I, as a running back, I've always tried to watch other good running backs, um, and he, he, in my opinion, he's the best in the game in the NFL right now. So I try to see what he does. It works for him, so surely it can work for me. And uh, he did this game. KJ, you've been nicked up uh, throughout the year. What does just tonight mean for you? Uh, it's tremendous. Uh, like you said, you know, year after year, kind of had injury here, nagging injury there. This year, it went down first game. And, um, but I knew that wasn't the end of my season. Uh, I knew I had a chance to redeem myself. And uh, I come out there every week just to, uh, to run as many times as I can and just see how it ends. How much was last year's game against these guys personal motivation? Not just because of the outcome, not just because of the offense, but there was questions about why you didn't get the ball more last year and you get it 32 times against them. Um, I mean, like like I've always said, I, I don't call the play, so in my opinion, not getting the ball enough, and then you got people saying I got the ball too much tonight, so there's a fine line between that all the time. Um, I just go out there, my number's called, I run, and uh, you know, I just want to win the game. Talk about your physical. Yeah, um, really, really it started um, before halftime. We had two runs, and we backed up, and uh, I was caught going sideways too much. And, uh, so going in, I was kind of mad at myself. I knew I had to get down the field or downhill more, you know, punish those guys. And uh, our old line told me to get down here and follow them, and that's just what I did. Yeah, I'm going to ask about, you know, uh, the game against LSU versus now and how the team's changed. But in your mind, I mean, what has been the biggest difference for this team confidence-wise and physicality-wise? I think the biggest difference is we just need to finish. Uh, the LSU game, I mean, we were doing the same thing to those guys that we did here in the first half. We just didn't finish. Uh, we kind of took our foot off the gas. But uh, we learned to finish, and we learned that it was necessary to do. And I think the, the, the proof is in the pudding. Coach said he thinks your name is in the Hosman Trophy. You should be in the Hosman Trophy race. How do you feel with Coach saying that? And what do you think about those uh, I appreciate it from him. Uh, seeing as he's coach, you know, just a few guys in that conversation and guys that have won it. Um, so I appreciate that for him, but until it's in there, it's not in there. So I just keep out, I just keep going out, I run, I run. And if it gets in there, you know, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's always been a dream of mine. Never really thought I'd get to that level, but it'd be it'd be pretty awesome to see.